Hi there, and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I'm Byron. Just in case you're wondering what I've been doing the last time, I'm actually playing a solo run of Icewind Dale now, as you can see. It's just one character. Tana Silverleaf, it's a half elven fighter mage cleric. He is a level 9 fighter, level 11 mage, and level 10 cleric. Um, he has a tackle of 4 and an, an armor class of minus 30. And he's not buffed right now, it's just, you know, the equipment that he has. Uh, an armor class of minus 30 probably means um, that the enemies need a critical roll, a critical attack, need to roll a critical attack to actually hit him. And I'm in Dawn's Deep right now. Alright. So, oh, we see an enemy, really? Where? Oh, here. It's those mushrooms. Those mushrooms are quite dangerous, actually, because uh, they might paralyze or stun him, and, well, as you can see, they always miss. Uh, they need a critical to come through the armor. See? Wait, that was a critical. Uh, the Myconite uh, rolled a 20, and a 10 is his health. But the important thing is to make a saving throw against those annoying little uh, special attacks. So did we explore that here? No we didn't. Okay, it's done. See? We saved against the spores, that's very good. Save versus death. Here I come. You too. And the hells come with me. So yeah, I mean it's it's a, it hasn't been as hard as I thought it would be. I'm I am missing the thieves abilities because the the cleric still has what is it? Find traps? I can, you know, find traps like that, but I can't disarm them. <coughs> and if I come across a chest that can't be opened, I always have my knock spell. So I guess I can make do without a thief. It's not fun, but it's it's working. Yeah, that's the way I actually play this. Um, with a wall, it's just one character. Ow. Oh. Son of a bitch. It usually takes three hits to kill a Myconid. Important to save one of the spores. And you have to save it. This one because if you're paralyzed or stunned or anything or confused, ah, oh, yeah, then the game is pretty much over. It will be interesting when I re encounter those Amber Hawks and their confusing attacks. It will really be interesting how that works out. Okay, one more hit should be the end. Yes. Okay, then heal yourself. But you didn't come here to watch the adventures of Tana Silverleaf. You want to see how the story of Storm, Goldmond, Tolpan and Saldana continues. So I save here, I have my solo run save. And I will load the start of Heart of Winter here. And here they are again. Storm, Fireblade, Goldmond, Giant's Pain, Tolpan, Star Sparrow and Saldana even star. When we finally battled uh, Pokelet or Battlefit or whatever his name was. Um, in the beginning of that, uh, you know, the sequence for the final battle, the characters were exported. And I could import them again uh, into an earlier save uh, when I still had access to uh, Calderham. But the bad thing is, uh, we actually lost all our containers. I was able to get another, you know, what's that, a potion bag and another gem bag and another scroll bag, scroll case, but I didn't get another magical bag because there's only one card and I lost that during the, you know, export of the 
character now, so I have a few items here. But yeah, that's basically the end. Uh, the characters have the maximum experience that they could actually get just before they attack Bellyfat. Got it. So those 75,000 uh, XP are gone. And now we can talk to Yolanda again. Understood. You have returned. Again, it is as the vision foretold. We are ready to accompany you now. Let us be off. I am honored by your choice. The journey <laughs> is a long one, and our quest is urgent. I shall summon the wind to carry us through the mountains and over the tundra. That would be very helpful. Know this. Should you wish to return to this place, it is within my power to bring you back. But walking upon the wind taxes one's spirit greatly. We don't really need that. We already finished the main quest. It may be days before I can make the journey again. Now, are you prepared to depart? Yes, let us be off. Time. Within its swirling mists lies the knowledge of all things, past and future, endings and beginnings. It is all here, hidden from view, waiting to be revealed to those who have eyes to see. Far to the north, Beyond the wind-swept peaks of the spine of the world. Beyond the realms of men who call themselves civilized. Dwell a people whose way of life is built upon the gift of sight. Among the tribes of the Uthgard, the visions of a shaman serve to guide his people through the fog of an uncertain future. So it was with Yoldare, elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. For it was his visions that foretold the return of a slain king, awakened from the halls of death by a spirit consumed by vengeance. His vision carried him across the tundra to a place where men built their homes beneath an ancient oak with branches that stretched skywards to embrace the clouds. It is here that his vision showed him the faces of the strangers that would journey far across a sea of ice and snow. To the frozen north, these heroes would come drawn into a twisted maze of shared destinies that would lead us all into the cold and terrible heart of winter. We have arrived outside the settlement your people call Lonely Wood. Of the ten towns, it is the nearest to my people's homeland and will no doubt fall first if my people heed Wolfdane's call to war. Now I must leave you, for I am not welcome among the homes of these southerners. You're leaving? I thought you were supposed to take us to this meat hall of yours. Though we journey towards the same destination, our paths are not one. My place is at the side of my king. Already I have been gone too long. From here, you must go alone. The people of this town will know the way to the camp of my people. Travel swiftly and safely. We shall meet again when you stand before the council in the great Mead Hall. Okay. And our journal has been updated. <clears throat> yeah, that's the chapter 6, uh, because uh, once we completed chapter 6, we are teleported to East Haven and then we can't return to Yalda. Um, 
so we have to bear with that. Before parting, Company Yolda instructed us to travel alone to the Great Meat Hall. Once there we must go before the council of his people and sue for peace. He said the people of Lonelywood should know the way to the barbarian camp. Okay, and you'll have to excuse if I cough every Got now it. and then. I've had a very bad cold the last two weeks. I was barely able to speak, that's why I didn't record anything. Uh, it, it isn't f you know, fully gone, but I guess it's okay enough for me to record. Oh, a sailor's life for me. No shit. Who the fuck are you? Stay. Young Ned. How mateys? How ye be doing? The name's Ned. Young Ned. I be the sharpest sailor around these parts. Who be ye? I be... I mean, my name is Storm Fireblade. What do you do in Lonelywood? I row boats out in the great mare Dueldon. It keeps me eye open... I keep me eye open for rocks and ice under the water. Some say I be the best sailor on Icefield Dale since, since me old Uncle Jed. That's a nice boat you're working on. Oh, that be Celara. Thom uh, named her after his dear dead wife. She aren't done yet, though. When Thom finishes her, I can't take you out on the lake. The other boats are all just too small, see? What do you know about Lonelywood and the bar barbarian threat? Oh, I know bits and pieces. Haven't heard much good gossip lately, but I can tell you that the three Ds be rubbing Emmerich's fur the wrong way recently. Three Ds? Aye, Dingbat, Dumbbat, and whatever the other one be called. They be thugs, the worst kind of scum. Emmerich knows they be up to no good. Only a matter of time, says I. Okay. Tick, trick, and truck. Hmm. So we have a few boats here. That apparently is the end of the map. <coughs> As always, we explore the map. Okay. Is it a large map? No, it's okay, I guess. So, there's... No, we can't get in here. There are a few buildings, but we can't enter them. Oh, there's a door. Wait a second, uh, what's here? There's a well. My poor brother is gonna die? What the fuck? Help is on its way? Don't worry. Hi girl, who are you? Highly done. Someone help me, please! Okay, 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 what's up? Help! Help me, please! My brother and I were playing and he fell down the well. I think he's hurt. Calm yourself, girl. What's your name? M -m my name is Haley Dunn. I, I dared my brother to climb down the well and he, he did. But he slipped and I helped him fall. Please help him. I have no rope. I shall see if I can get help at once. My father has some rope. He can get my brother out. Your father? Which house is his? It's on the far north side of town, in the eastern corner, next to the woods. Please hurry. I'm off. I shall return quickly, Haley. Stay with your brother. Okay. Then maybe we should explore the east side first. Who are you? Carl. With two R. R's, actually. Carl. Well, I met stranger on this damnable cold day. Who are you? My name is Carl Ryder. I work for Galloway Trading Coaster. We're stuck here till this whole barbarian business blows over. What do you know about Lonelywood and barbarian threat? Nothing much, we just work around here. I think Rawlite might know a bit more, though. Farewell, Carl. So, um... Nothing here to manipulate. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're this Rawlite guy. Do you know more? <coughs> Sorry. What do you want? If you're looking for a ride, tough luck. We're not going anywhere for a while. No, actually, we are all like pedestrians. Who are you? So, I'm Raleigh Galloway, caravan master of the Galloway Trading Coaster. Me and my men are stuck here because of those idiot savages out on Bremen's Run. Are you the brother of Ilmus Galloway, head of the Galloway Trading Coaster? Who is Ilmus Galloway? Did we meet him? I don't think so. No, I just happen to have the same last name. Quit wasting my time with stupid questions. Okay, what do you know about Lonelywood and the Barbarian Threat? 
I already said everything I know, the Bavarians are out on Bremen's run, and they are not going anywhere. You want to find out more? Go ask the hairy bastards yourself. It's just a few miles <laughs> to the east of here. Isn't there any other way out of Lonelywood? This time of year is what we Icewind Dale locals like to call winter. No shit, that's probably why all the white stuff is lying around here. Frozen water and stuff. Look out on the lake. You get past Burial Isle and the whole damn thing is frozen over. Uh, any other route is directly over rough land, no trails. Surely there must be another way. Where are you headed? Tamerlane. Not that it matters. Tamerlane, East Haven, Goodmead, Dugan's Hole, Waterdeep, Baldur's Gate, Suzel. We're getting. We're not getting to any of them. Stuck is stuck. Okay. But I guess we now know where to find uh, the barbarians, Bremen, something. Yeah, Bremen actually is a German town. Who are you? Stop it. Jemelaya. Hi, Jemelaya. Eh? What do you want? Who are you? Who are... Oops, clicked. I'm Jemelaya Smith's son. I work for the coaster, the trading coaster. What do you know about Lonely Wood and Barbarian Thread? Nothing. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, my friend. Wait, there's a house. Is that where the father with the rope lives? Get in there. Um, who the hell are you? Emmerich Hawk. Alright. Emmerich. Yeah, in German we would say Emmerich. Emmerich Hawk. Well met, strangers. What can I do for you? Who are you? Well, it says here he's Emmerich Hawk. My name is Emmerich Hawk. Who might you be? I'm Storm Fireblade. Tell me, Emmerich, what is it you do for a living? Well, he has a bow in his hand. He's obviously a hunter or something. I'm a bowyer by trade. I craft bows for trade with a few caravans that find their way up here to Lonelywood. It's too much, but it... It's not much, but it's an honest living. Besides, it allows me the freedom to pursue my true calling. And what would that be? I am what you might call caretaker of these woods. I keep an eye on the local hunters and lodgers to make sure that they do not take more than the forest is willing to offer. So you are some kind of guardian of the forest? You should be a druid man, but then you couldn't use a bow. <laughs> guardian? Perhaps once I may have been worthy of such a role before I lost the favor of the forest father, but now that he has taken his blessing from me, I am just another man that lives in the shadow of the forest. Who is this forest father? The Forest Father is the eternal guardian of the forest. He is the god of all wild and untamed nature throughout Faron. Priests and druids of the realm call him Sylvanus. Oh, no, I, no, I recognize this name. So he is known by many names. Why have you fallen from his favor? Ever since the three brothers arrived in town, trapping the forest has been out of control. No, trapping in the forest has been out of control. Despite my best of efforts, I have been unable to stop them. Now the forest father is punishing me for my failure. What makes you say that? Three days ago, while walking in the woods, I encountered a great white wolf. Such beasts are very rare and considered by some to be the sacred protectors of the forest. In an instant, the wolf was upon me. I searched desperately for a way to escape, but the beast was relentless in its fury. Before I could react, it pounced on me sinking its fangs deep into the exposed flesh just above my collar. How come you're not dead? The weight of the massive wolf had me pinned to the ground, but I somehow managed to wriggle my left arm free enough to slip the dagger from my boot. Just as the beast's powerful jaws began to tighten around my neck, I buried the dagger in its belly. Did you kill it? No, but the cut was deep enough to save my life. The wounded beast seized its attack and bounded away into the forest, leaving me barely conscious in a pool of my own blood. Okay, that's how you survived. I should have died that day. I know that now. The wolf was the manifestation of the forest father's vengeance. Uh, but maybe it was just the wolf. You never know. The fact that I survived has only served to anger him further. <laughs> Final destination, anyone? That is why he punished me by denying by blah, by denying his blessings. I wouldn't jump to conclusions here. Let me ask you something else. Uh, what do you know of the barbarian threat? For the past week or so, droves of barbarians have been spotted moving steadily th southwards towards the ten towns. It is much too late in the season uh, for the tribes to be following the migration of the reindeer, reindeer herd. Maybe they're following just Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, I don't know. I fear their presence here could only mean one thing. 
war. This means war. <laughs> no, no, actually, it means not. <coughs> uh, we have heard the barbarians have a camp nearby. Do you know where it is? I have noticed that the eastern edge of the forest has been unusually quiet these past few days, almost as if something has driven the animals out. If there is a barbarian camp out there, it probably lies somewhere to the east of the forest, perhaps hidden upon the rocky shelves of Bremen's Run. No shit, we already know that. <clears throat> what else do you know about the town of Lonelywood? Uh, sorry, but I'm not really one for gossip. You see, I spend most of my time outside of town looking after the forest. We already had that. Um, on second thought, we'd like to see what you have for sale. Composite longbow plus one. Longbow plus stormbow. He has nice bows, but yeah. Oh, our thief could use the stormbow. What's that? Damage plus three. Tackle plus two. That appears to be a nice bow. Do you have anything else? Not really. So let's remember that damage plus three, tackle plus two. I'm not gonna buy it now, I'll just take a look at the bow that he has. Oh heck, he only has a short bow plus one. We are well done. <coughs> Setting time. Hey, stop moving around, my friend. We have money, 180,000. I think we had more when we finished the. Uh, I will check that. Uh, I think we had more when we finished buy and sell, sell and buy. What now? Is it still buy? Yep. 180, I have to remember that. 100, final battle, and there's my save. Never delete all your saves. Oh yeah, we had 349,652 and we lost like half of it. Okay. Go. Doesn't matter. Money is money. We still have enough. Stormbow. Now you have a tackle of what? Seven. She has a tackle of nine. And you have a tackle of two. Two? And I have a tackle of. Oh, Storm has a tackle of one. Very nice. Okay. Ready. Anything else lying around here that we could Done. actually use? No, I don't think so. Where's the door? Here's the door. All right. Okay, there appears to be the forest. It's the end of the map, at least for me now. What's that? There's another house. <coughs> Go in here. I can't do anything with those barrels. Get it. Who the hell are you? Quinn Silverfinger. There's a door. I'm Hi, Quinn. It. Welcome, travelers, to the Golden Lodge Shrine to Joaquin. I am Grand Cinder Quinn Silverfinger, but my friends just call me Quinn. What can I do for you on this fine chilly day? Well, what do you do here? Well, I do what. All good priests of Joaquin do I maintain relations with the craftsmen in town, monitor trade, and provide encouragement to enterprising businessmen. Yeah, I think Joaquin is the god of trade or something. Isn't Icewind Dale an odd place to uh, an odd place for a temple to Joaquin? Icewind Dale is one of the most remote areas in Ferran, no shit. I felt it was my challenge and duty to bring trade and commerce to this desolate place. I see a golden future in these icy wastes. Uh, what do you know about Lonelywood and Bavarian Threat? Not much. All I know is that the perfu that perfume of a man, Bale Bel Beldemore, is probably a handy situation with the political care of a walrus. Oh, why do you believe that? Beldemore is a country-grown man, simple as dirt. He likes to think he's above everyone else because he's got some coin. Someday I'd like to see a small halfling come in here and show these bumpkins a thing or two. Oh, you're a halfling, okay. A two about how to run a small town. There's humility in simplicity, Quinn. You're right, but Beldemar's certainly not humble. He's just a dolt. He likes to think he's important, but he is only the representative of the smallest of the ten towns. Marketplaces in M dwarf this burg. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll have fun in M in Baldur's Gate too. Oh, if we should ever come to that. 
Could you provide me with healing services? Blah, 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 goods, anything. Oh, what do you have? What's that? A Maunatori's Legacy. It's a plus three weapon. You go away, don't come back. In consequence, it's a hammer. A plus five versus good and evil and just it's a plus four weapon. I think he already has a plus four weapon. Hammer and a plus seven sword, so go away. Kinetic spear, what's that do? Uh, just a plus two weapon, thank you, donated. Three white doves. It's a plus four weapon. Double damage against undead and outer planar creatures. You gotta be kidding me. This looks like something that Goldmund would want. Force bullet, what does that do? A plus three bullet. <coughs> Target must save for the spell or be affected by Otilux resilient sphere. You gotta be kidding me. A popular weapon among priests. Force bullets allow the user to restrain opponents without causing excessive harm. They are particularly well liked by the churches of Helm, Elders and Ilmata. Yeah, but if he is, you know, affected by Otilux resilient sphere, he's taken out of the equation. Uh, for as long as the spell continues. Nah. Yeah, it's a good thing if you wanna, you know, remove an, um, a tough um, enemy. Joaquin. Uh, but then again, as long as he's within the sphere, you can't attack him. Joaquin's defender. Armor class plus two. Mm. Okay, nothing special about that shield. Uh, leather armor plus two. That has an armor class of six. That also has an armor class of six. Plate mail plus one, no, I don't want that. Uh, Braces of defense AC6. Ring of protection. High quality longsword, I don't need that. Wait, stone to flush, uh, I don't think, I think you can use that, buy it. And, oh, we have another bag of holding. I want that very much, and thanks. First of all, get all that shit in here. That's a hammer plus five, actually. Okay, it's even better. Can you learn that? Oh, you already have that. Oh, sorry. Now I'm gonna save again. Because I don't really know whether... Wait a second. Um, What was your armor, my friend? You have... No, that's the cloak. Go away. Oh, black dra no black dragon scale. This is already a plus. This is this is an armor of the fourth class. So now I don't need all that other stuff. Good, good, good. So I did save, did I? Yeah, I did save. Um, tiddle -tum, tiddle -tum, tiddle -tum. I wanna buy for my cleric the flail of mace, just a plus four weapon. I already have that. The white doves is also a plus four weapon. 1d6 plus 4, attacker plus 3. 5% five per chance, five chance of uh, flesh to stone on the target. I actually don't need that. But that's a nice thing here. And the, the shield, yeah, I won't buy those. Holy fuck, there goes my money. <coughs> so, um, thinking about that's plus 4. Oh, but you have a nice resistance. I don't know, this is also nice. Be uh, well, tackle plus 3, this gives us a tackle plus 4, right? I don't really think. I mean, it, the, you know, the double damage against undead and outer planar creatures is really useful. But then again, I don't want to lose all the protection. What does the shield do? It's actually not as good as the shields we have. Leg? Okay. So it's really a tough call. Do I want that? Oh yeah, and that also lowers my armor class. I don't want that. Ah, <sighs> no. What's on the other side of that Ready. door? Understood. Anything? Oh, holy! What's that? What do you you should look for traps. Time. One, two, three, four, five. No. Oh, now you see a trap. Well, thank you. Here. That was almost too late. 
I suppose I'm free to do your dirty yep. Save the trap. Pick the lock. Take a look inside. Yeah, I take all that. Thank you. What's that? I don't know. Identify it. Quinn's fancy sling. Damage plus three. Tackle plus five. Hmm. Better than the one we have. I fancy that a lot. Okay. Bullet plus two enough. Okay. So that's the sling was blessed before Quinn Silverfinger by Quinn Superior at the Golden Spires in M. Quinn was quite proud of the sling and carried it with him always. He only had reason to use the sling on three different occasions, but it proved to be very useful. Yeah, well, now he's not going to use it anymore, but Seldana will put it to good use. Let's get Quarters. out of here. Understood. <clears throat> so I could probably sell uh, the stuff that I don't read right now. Can I? Ding ding. Yep, I can sell it. Anything in here? No, that's empty. Okay, kinetic spear. Yeah, it's um, plus two weapon. Who needs that? Do I want those? Nah, I don't think I want those. Fine. And it's I'm late, listening. so we will take a break here. What's that, anyway? This statue is a representation of the goddess Joaquin. It depicts a beautiful young woman with an outstretched palm. I never know Joaquin was a female goddess. A female god. But, you know, you never know with those gods. So, yeah, saving. I'm about to save. What was the last number? 41. So this is probably... 42 was the final battle, so it's 43, I guess. LP 43. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.